So, hey guys, and welcome back to Mega Man Zero N. It's time to start the first, like, real mission of the game. Oh boy. Yeah, but now we have to deal with the shitty XP system as well. So, like, I. Okay, I'm gonna say it right now. I, I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of the XP system, but I don't hate it. I hate the XP system so much in this game. Because it made me grind for an hour just to get my buster and my sword up to par. I I never really had yes it does involve grinding and maybe I don't really it doesn't bother me so much because I, I enjoy RPGs so I'm kind of used to grinding but I think like you can just maybe spend like 20 minutes grinding in the first stage and then after that you never do it again yeah but here's the thing right every time you get another weapon you gotta grind it out to get it okay like, but to be to suitable but levels. to be fair to be fair have you do you ever use any of the other items beside the buster and the sh and the and the saber um I use the uh, I use the triple rod sometimes. I, I never use it. I only ever stick to the buster and the gun. I, I uh, sorry, the buster and the Z sword because I never use anything else. The triple rod actually is a couple is useful in like a couple of situations, but honestly though, it's uh, I, I don't like grinding in a platformer like Mega Man. Like it's just not fun, and that's why I like Zero Three so much. They just got rid of that shit. Yeah, that is that is to be fair, Zero Three yeah did did get rid of that. But like yeah, I can only do like two slashes now. I can't even do the three slash combo. Yeah, that's on the third level, and then I believe on the fourth level you can do the uh, the spinning the spinning blade in the air. Yeah, and then no, no, you do the ground spinning blade, and then the fifth is the spin spinning blade in the air, and then the sixth level is charge slash, which I actually need. Like you need the charge slash to actually play the zero series. If you if you wanna if you wanna beat bosses with weaknesses, yes, you absolutely need it. Yeah. So otherwise you can't. Otherwise you essentially can't. And it takes a really long time to grind. And honestly, yes, the only good thing I can say about this grinding experience was that like it got me enough e crystal to level up some uh, cyber elves. But also, just one thing about this boss. I'm gonna use a really cheap strategy to beat this boss that I found out like while I was doing my test playthrough. Cause, like, right, this, I'm actually interested to see this. This boss is a pain in the ass if you want to do legit, because you don't have enough. Like you don't, you're not equipped to deal with this boss. He is a yeah, hurt. Yeah, you really are. Like his hurt box is way too like large, and his hit box is way too small, and you just can't keep trading with him, or else, like, you're gonna. Yeah, he's gonna kill you before you kill him. Yeah. So this is my strategy. This is completely RNG based, though. If he just decide, I never knew you, I never knew you could do this. You you could do this, but if he decides to just low hop, then you'll die. But if he de decides to high hop as well, then you can kill him. I never knew you could do that. You could do that. I I learned that, and I I tried this like five times, and I would I was able to kill him pretty reliably. I am so glad I figured that out. That's gonna make that a hell of a lot easier on me. But like, yeah, you have it's RNG based though, so that's the only downside about that. Uh, I see. Also, this guy's like, uh, like spasming a lot, so I don't know why what he's doing, but whatever. He he said he's he's like he's frozen in fear, but like, you can leave any time. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's weird that they didn't like while the elevator is coming down to crush them, they didn't try to go in this transport. Yeah, exactly. It's right there. <laughs> or maybe maybe it was blocked off by a gate. I I don't know. <laughs> Although, then it wouldn't really make much sense why a gate opening is tied to whether the robot guarding it dies or not. Yeah. But then again, Mega Man logic, we can never question it. By the way, what do you what do you think of CL as a character as a whole? Because I I, I, I kind of like CL. Like compared to the like operators in the X series, CL is a lot more interesting because she plays like yeah. a big role in the story. And she's actually not annoying compared to like Alia, where she's met, where she's not messaging you every five seconds to tell you something. Yeah, yeah. That that was seriously one of the biggest turnoffs of X Five to me. She wouldn't shut up. Well, you didn't like uh, those other two operators, like who I can't even remember in X Eight. Are you talking about the ones from X Eight, uh, Layer, and um, I don't remember the last one's name. I, all I, I, all I remember is that one of them had a huge crush on Zero or something like that. Yeah, la yeah, Layer, the one with the purple hair, did. But yeah, it never, it never went anywhere. Yeah, it, it was weird. But like, yeah, that's... I guess they were trying to position her as the new um, Iris. Yeah, but like, they didn't have a why. I'm, what am I fighting for? So it doesn't really. I don't really care. Yeah, so it doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, you need that. Uh, you need that bad voiceover. Uh, maybe if you remind me when I eventually record X8, maybe. 
So, um, this old guy, I forget his name, but he tells a lot of stories about when he was, like, younger and stuff. And it's really interesting, because this old guy wasn't actually always old. Like, he had a, like, young body and stuff, and he'll get into this. Like, so he down, so they downgraded him to be older. Yeah, because in in the story, right, he fell in love with this human, but when as a human, like got young, older and stuff, he was still the same age, and then he felt really bad about that, so he turned himself into an old man. That's touching for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, because like she came to resent him a bit, but like he that's why he wanted to. He asked CL to make him old. Wait, wait, so the person that he was with resented him because he stayed young? Yeah, well, she became That's an old lady. Fault. That's not his fault. Well, I, I guess, but he felt bad about it, so he turned himself into an old man. Is he even still in a relationship in his old age? Well, I, I assume she died. So was it really worth it then? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. He's a cool old man, I guess. He tells a lot of stories about, like, when he was young or whatever. But he, he comes in, like, all the Zero games, I think. Hmm. Well, that would make sense. Old people are weird. <laughs> yeah. But that's why we love them. Except when they except, except when they spend, like, ten hours telling you about war stories that you don't even remember. <laughs> Also, they, uh, Alouette mentioned the baby elf. That doesn't really play a part until X3, really. You mean 0-3? Or, yeah, 0 3. And man, I hate the baby elves, let me just say that. They're really okay, annoying. Remind me, what the, remind, remind me what the baby elves are. Cause, cause uh, I you know, um, forgot. those two really annoying shits. The baby elves. Oh, yes, 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 sir. Now I remember, now I Yeah, they're, they're really annoying, and they have their own boss fight in 0 3. Twice. Yeah. They're, twice. they're really easy, but they're kind of annoying. But we'll get to that when we eventually get to Mega Man Zero Three. Yeah. By the way, what are you taking your time to do right now? I'm trying to show off the grinding place. Oh, you have a specific grinding yeah, place? Yeah, there's a very specific grinding place I found to be the fastest. And I, I just grind in the first level. Well, yeah, this is the first level, but like, there's, there's a very specific part of it that's actually really good for grinding. Are you talking about those two spiked pillars that rise up and down? No, no, no. Those are not good for grinding because they don't get they won't give you health or e crystals. There's an actual really good place for grinding. You see, Ramon, this is the thing that you like to call editing. <laughs> no, no, I am I'm gonna show off the place. This is Six and a half hours later. <laughs> But yeah, the, these guys don't grind them, because, like, they don't give you any E-Crystals. And you're going to really want the E-Crystals for, like, the Cyber Elves, because you really, or else you're going to have to grind for those as well. Yeah, we'll get into the Cyber Elf, um, we'll get into the Cyber Elf mechanic in, uh, when we actually get to showing them off. Oh, I'm not going to show them off for a while. Oh you, oh, you don't, oh, you don't show them off for a while? Okay, well, in that case. Yeah, I, I explained part of it, like, in the last part, but basically, you have a huge score reduction. Like, I was getting an A rank before, but when I used him, I, I immediately dropped a C, and then I doubled down on that and dropped an E rank. Who, well, who, to be honest, I never cared about rank. <laughs> yeah, because in, well, in 0, 2, and 3, rank is actually important. But 0, 1, rank is, it, it doesn't even matter. Like, in the, in 0, 2, and 3, I, those are when, like, you introduce EX skills, and those are actually important. Especially, yeah, those like, actually matter. Especially in 0, 3, where, like, if you use EX skills and stuff, you can actually break the game with the combo system. And I've never actually taken the time to understand it because that's too much goddamn work. Well, it's only really important when you're speedrunning because you can well, use it I, to well, beast I bosses don't. in like five seconds. Well, I don't speedrun, so. All I do is just mash and hope I get the combo working or whatever. 